Hello everyone, in this video we will see how to make API request in React. So let's get started. First let's make a new component in the source directory. In that component we will see how to fetch API in React. So let's make a new component and let's give it name api.js. So let's write uh, the code for the functional component here. I will also tell you in the class component how to fetch API. So don't worry about it. So there's uh, this cool extension by which you can create functional component easily. You just need to type RSC and just press tab. So as you can see, it created the functional component structure easily. So if you want to know the name of this extension, <coughs> it's the, uh, so you can go to this extension tab in the VS code and its name is react.js code snippet. So you can just type it here, react.js code snippets. So as you can see, it's already installed in my code editor. So you can go over there and you can install it from the buttons which will be available here, okay? So after it is installed, you can just press RSC and press tab and this will create this functional component structure. Okay, cool. So let's see how to fetch API. Okay, cool. So in this video, we are going to uh, make a request on this API. So I will also link its URL in the description. So this website contains so many endpoints, which gives us a various information about the COVID-19. So you can go to the documentation section over here. And when you go to the documentation, you will see there are a lot of uh, websites, not, not websites, these are endpoints on which you can make an API request. Okay, so we are going to use this endpoint, which is going to give us the total COVID cases in all the countries. Okay, so I have made a request on this API, as you can see, on my browser and it is giving us a lot of results of different countries and for every country they are mentioning their cases their deaths they are recovered today recovered so all of this information they are giving of various countries okay so let's copy this url and what we're going to do is uh, let's uh, paste it here inside of a component so you can write const uh, base url and you can just mention the you can just paste your url here okay now in functional component how you make a request you make a request inside a use effect okay so you just write use effect and you can just uh, call the api inside it okay i mean it's not necessary that if you want to call your api you can also call api in a separate function but let's say when your website refreshes, then you want to call an API, then you need to use use effect, okay? Or otherwise, let's say you want to call this API when some button is clicked on your user interface, then there's no need to use this use effect. Then you can simply create a function, okay? Let's give it name call API, okay? And inside it, you can write the code for fetching this API and you can associate this function with some button and when that button is clicked then api will be fetched okay that is your uh, that is your option like e either you can call your api when the browser loads your web page or you can just call your api when some button is clicked on your page okay it's your wish now we are going to use in this a uh, use effect because we want to call api when browser refreshes our web page okay cool so how to fetch api there are a lot of ways Either you can use fetch method of JavaScript, which is built in, or you can use some NPM libraries. There are a lot of libraries to make requests uh, like Axios or there is request library to make request. But in this video, we are going to take everything simple. So we will be using this uh, fetch method, which is JavaScript built in method. So just write fetch and inside it, we pass the URL. So just pass the base URL and it is a promise so either you can use a wait or a sync or i can also use dot then method so after making a request it will give us some response which we can catch it here so you can write a callback function to catch that result so you can give it any name i'm giving it res so uh, from here you can return the json so you can write res dot json and again you can catch it by writing dot then and in this callback you can uh, catch the final results and let's for now just log it to the console to make sure that we are getting some results okay so you can write console.log results okay cool 
so yeah do, no need to write return here just write res.json okay cool now uh, let's write something here api component and let's import this component in our app.js and let's call it here so you can write api okay so it has been automatically imported it is a cool feature of vs code so let's see whether we are getting uh, the data from this api in our browser or not okay so cool it is compiling our web uh, our react project okay now go to your web page okay yeah api component is rendering and let's go to console and check whether api is giving us results or not okay so yeah as you can see we have got 220 results so yeah that means we are getting results from the api now what you can do is you can use this a result and you can show some cards over here okay it's your wish you can use this api to do a lot of uh, cool things in your user interface but for now what i'm gonna do is uh, i'm gonna use this information and show some cards here which will show the name of the country their total cases uh like i will show some of these information in the card so let's see how to do that so for this i'm gonna use let's go to react react strap okay so it is actually a library similar to bootstrap but it is actually made for react so some built-in components are there available which you can use so first of all to use this you can just uh, write this command to install it okay so we don't need a react and react dom because it's already installed so just copy this command and open a new terminal here and just paste it okay cool so it will install the react strap library okay as you can see uh, react strap library is installed now let's see how to use it so you can go to react strap official website and you can go to components and we want to show the card so you can take the code for card okay uh, let's see okay you can just simply copy it so we need this import statement first of all so copy and paste it over here okay so as you can see we are importing card card image card text from the react step library and in our user interface we will use it okay and you can just take this code and paste it in your uh, react project okay cool so yeah just paste it over here and give some indentation to it <clears throat> okay and let's save it and let's see whether it is showing us the results or not uh, wait some seconds uh, wait a minute it is compiling our react code so yeah it is showing the card okay yeah it's actually taken up a whole width so let me see how to give width to it okay oh you can give directly to it let's see so inside it let's give some styling you can mention the max width okay let's see max width will be 400 pixels and height will be let's say auto and let's give some uh, style to it let's give some padding let's say 20 pixels okay cool so let's see so yeah as you can see we are getting a card yeah image will not come because it's just a random address of an image so this will not come okay so card is coming now what we're going to do is we will create one state so you can write const and in this state what we're going to do is we will be storing all these results that we are getting from this api and we will store that results in some array so let's create a state so you can give it name let's say api results and you can type set api results and you can use use state and inside it initially there will be empty array okay cool so when we are getting results here what we want to do is uh, rather than logging it to the console we will uh, push all the code to the uh, api results array that we just created here so you can just write set api results to this results array okay cool now 
we are going to loop over this result array and we are going to show different cards okay cool so just uh, copy this code and wrap it inside the map function okay so you can write curly braces and you can access your api results and you can write map method and we will uh, write some callback function inside it which will access a single api result so you can write a result and you can write <coughs> Uh, wait okay so yeah and here what you can do is you can uh, return your card code okay so you can just paste it here uh, give some indentation uh, wait okay so let's see whether we are getting uh, cards or not let's save your work and let's see okay expected an assignment of functional call and instead saw an expression okay uh, don't use this uh, curly braces yeah now let's save it and go to your web page yeah as you can see we are getting a lot of cards because we have so many results in our api that we got from api so what we're going to do is uh, we are going to replace some information in this card from the api results okay let's uh, first of all uh, delete this image because we don't want to use this image okay in body in card title we will show the country okay so let's see in our result as you can see a country is stored in country variable so you can directly access it uh, first write curly braces and just access from the result country property okay cool so in card title we will show that and in we don't want card subtitle just delete it and in card text we will so uh, we will show some information uh, let's delete it and here we will take some paragraph tags and here we will show let's say we want to show how many cases are there so you can write cases and use curly braces to access it so you write result dot cases okay similarly uh, you can take one more paragraph to show let's uh, let's say okay in this paragraph i'll show total deaths so you can write deaths and then curly braces result dot deaths okay so let's save it and let's see whether we are getting uh, this or not and we don't want a button so just delete it and let's save it again okay so yeah as you can see we're getting cards okay we are getting in a title country and its cases and its deaths so in this way you can show different you know results by using the api results okay so isn't it cool yeah so this was how you fetch api in functional component okay you can also do the same thing uh, let's okay right now as you can see we have we are fetching results in use effect that means whenever uh, whenever our website refreshes it will make a api call automatically okay but you can also do one thing uh, let's create one button here uh, let's uh, first of all wrap everything in a empty tag elements now what you can do is you can create one let's say button okay and you can say call api okay and when this button is clicked you can associate your uh, api function let's say call api okay uh, let's give some bootstrap class to it you can write button button primary okay cool now let's make a function with the same name that we associated with the on click so you can write function or you can write const it's, it's a wish so we will write const call api and what this function will do this function will do the same thing just copy it or you can cut it now paste it over here okay now we will we will not use use effect okay now let's see whether it is working or not so as you can see this time we will only get a button when we refresh it we won't get the results and when this button is clicked we will get the results so wait some time as you can see yeah we have got some results in a card that means our api is working so in this way you can call api in functional component 
okay so in this we saw two ways one you can use use effect if you want to call api when browser refreshes your web page or either you can call api when button is clicked it's your wish okay now similarly if you want to do the same thing in class so everything will be same except the use effect function so uh, this button when you're calling api when button is clicked it will be same in class component but you for use effect it will be different for use effect what you do you write uh, component okay you write component did mount and similarly you will write component uh, will update okay so in this lifecycle method you have to call the api okay so in class component you would have to make these two functions component did mount and component will update and you can call your api inside it so this is different for use effect so in class component generally you call api by using lifecycle methods okay so i hope you now understood how to call api in react so first method that we discussed was inside the use effect that's when you want to call api when browser refreshes the web page and if you want uh, to call api when button is clicked you can just simply associate a function and you can call your api okay cool so i hope you understood now how to call api in react thank you see you in the next video